Hello familia, welcome one more time to our channel. We are familia, let's go. And today we wanna show you what you can do in one day in the center of Brussels, right? Yeah. So this is what we did in one day in Brussels in family. So check it out. So we are here at Grand Place, right? Grand Place of Brussels. Okay. Yes, you. and you are saying that everything that is shining there is gold? It is. <laughs> it's gold? It's gold. So all this building here around, if you see everything yellow that is shining, it's basically gold. And all the buildings here have a lot of this. Really? Yeah. Gold. <laughs> Crazy. The favorite place of kids was Royal Donut, right? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it was a paradise for them. You would see a lot, a lot. They were like cakes, no? Not only for kids. <laughs> okay, yes, they, they were so good. So we eat also, um, but they look like a cake. It, they, they're super big. Uh, they cost around five euros and and like three euros the the, the normal ones. Uh, but they were super super good as you can see now and, and they enjoyed a lot and the big ones that cost more like five euro exactly uh, they have the inside filler and they have some kind of nutella or jam uh, depends what you choose and the toppings are just something no it's a full meal it's not a, just a snack or something it's full meal yeah, the shop is also super nice to make pictures inside with the Mickey Mouse and it, it, it was really good, the, the shop. So if you go there with kids, they will love it. So go there. Okay, the second thing you must try in Brussels is waffles, of course. You will see a lot of places to try it and it's quite similar. The price is varies but just a little bit uh, more in the center you are like uh, more cues you will find i would say but the price is not very high and the waffles you can try there you actually you actually see the samples there uh, they are already prepared so you can say i just want this this or that and you see the the what they have on on the waffle uh, Nutella with strawberries, uh, cream with the fruits, uh, bananas. bananas, jam, cocoa. You can see yourself the things and you can say what you want on the top. This and this and this and that and they will put it on the on the waffle. If you want you can choose just simple one, just chocolate on the top um, or you can have the normal natural one that costed like two euro. Yes, yeah, simple without things, it's just two euros and it's very yummy. I tried this because I don't like too many things and sweet. Yeah. And it was good. And the other thing of Brussels that's very famous is French fries. And French fries, they are of a good quality, yes, I would yes. say. They are very like good. potato fries. It's very good. And also in the center, if you are in the center, you are searching for these things as a tourist, you will find a queue. You will find lining yourself and waiting there in the queue with the people. And also you have a lot of options to put into the fries, right? Yeah, you have uh, mayonnaise, different simple, types of ketchup, mayonnaise. or with the truffles. Mm -hmm. uh, you find different solutions there, but also you can have cheeses or sausages, mm -hmm. 
whatever you like but it's very famous french fries and it's also kind of a cheap alternative yes what i really loved always in brussels when i was visiting is these sandwiches that they make people will think that we are super fatty youtubers no, it is like this in always brussels. talking about food 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 no but, but we love food and, and what you can do while you're traveling you get hungry while walking during your tours around. yeah we, we like to try the local food so yeah so uh, these kind of sandwiches you can find in sandwicheria so called and they're also they cut you the bread actually the sandwich usually is that big so to eat as one portion for one person is a lot and especially because you can choose what they put inside and you can see it. again you can always ask they have curry chicken tuna sauce vegetables to put inside eggs cheeses sauces salads to add you can see everything yes. and you can choose what you want in your sandwich so it's very nice right yes and prices are very accessible like very, 350 very, 350, 350 big sandwich yeah with whatever you want so if you go to brussels try it and another thing that caught my attention is like how many chocolate shops there like everywhere every corner you will find a chocolate store it's crazy but they are super good so you have to buy some okay so what do you think about chocolate oh i love belgian chocolates and yeah, there is uh, a lot of shops are around while you will be walking in the center there are a lot uh, and the most famous ones with really really good chocolate even though in any other shops if you buy these kind of shells chocolates they are very good quality is very good you usually find promos like buy a few boxes and get it cheaper and it's convenient to do that if you want to bring some chocolate back home to mm -hmm. your family members it's very convenient and it's very delicious good quality yeah. chocolate uh, but where is the best one it's in Galeria St. Uh, Hubert's uh, where I love to take my cappuccino and uh, we and went chocolate. there you can have large cappuccino there I, it's actually they are selling pastries and bread this shop mm. in, in the Galeria uh, but you can buy chocolate and you can take your cappuccino there and just combine everything and to try this Belgian Belgian taste to feel it a little bit try chocolate in Belgium and of course if you are in Brussels the most famous and incredible thing that you have to go and see by yourself what it is? Mannequin peas! Mannequin peas! <laughs> Peeing boy, <laughs> you can find the peeing boy that's very popular there, and you find a lot of people there making pictures, selfies, whatever with this thing. And this actually, uh, like they, if they have some kind of celebration days or something, they even change the clothes for <laughs> this boy. They changed the yeah, clothes. Yeah, we the saw it with, with different costumes. Yeah, and it was like, what? They, we saw it with different costumes, different days that we went there. We passed through. Uh, we were walking there around the mannequin piece. You can find very nice places uh, to sit, uh, very nice bars, no? Mm -hmm. Because they sit outside when it's warm, they sit outside. It's very beautiful. It's not far from the Grand Plus. That yeah. is also another place to visit. You mm -hmm. must visit Grand Plus. It's like nothing very special, I would say. The special thing about it is that um, all the things that you see in gold, uh, in golden color, is actually gold. Incredible. It is. Uh, and uh, not far from there is Mannequin Peace. And not far from Mannequin Peace, you can find these cozy places to have a Belgian beer. And of course, the main thing is the Grand Place. You can see these beautiful buildings. Uh, so you can be there inside around these beautiful buildings, uh, having a coffee on, on the restaurants that they're there, or 
or, or just you can see it anywhere where you can find a place, you see there and it's beautiful. You it's, buy these french fries or yes, waffles. Yes, and you buy the waffles uh, and you go and you sit there and you eat and you enjoy it. Uh, all the people is there, like it's a lot of people there and it's really nice to, to see and all the details that they, this building has is just incredible. Very beautiful. And of course, after eat and try chocolate and cappuccino, waffles, a French fries, mm -hmm. sandwich, a beer, you need to have a place to relax. In Belgium, they have it, and they are so beautiful to enjoy there a sunny day. So we had the possibility to enjoy in this uh, urban public garden. Uh, it's called Mont de Art, uh, and it's not far from the Grand Place. Everything actually is just by walking distance. Yes. It's not far. Uh, you can go there and just chill. You have a, some places, some benches to lay down if you want, or yes. just to sit, to eat, to listen to music, to read. And not far from there is actually the place of a library, a Belgian library there. Hey, you can have a chill. You also have some bars, restaurants there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are open. You can have food. Uh, the most important thing is actually one place that I, uh, I used to go and I really love is the Musical Instrument Museum. It's up, up, up the garden. And you have the stairs. When you go up, you can see the beautiful panoramic view of this uh, square, of this garden. And it's possible cool. cool this time, so we couldn't enter. Probably of the COVID or quarantine situation or some the construction work that they're doing, so we say. Uh, but this place has a terrace in the fifth floor, and it's also it's, uh, opening the view of the city for you. And this terrace is very beautiful. So I'm not sure but this was, well, if you are there, don't miss this place. If you want to visit the museum, you can do it. If you just want to go to the restaurant and uh, have a glass of wine with a view to Brussels or just to see the panoramic view, uh, don't miss this place. Okay, familia, this was all for today, our days in Brussels. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because right now we are in Mexico, Mexico, we are in Cancun. So after this one, we will show you more about Cancun and all these amazing places. Yes, yeah, subscribe to our channel to see our future adventures because Brussels was just our stop to have our flight to come to Mexico and here we are filming a lot, the prices, the life, uh, the, the, the activities that you can do, especially with kids um, mm -hmm. because we will spend three months here, in three months we will prepare a lot of material, a lot of tips for you so uh, don't forget to subscribe and watch our Instagram uh, profile where we post daily of our daily life here yes so thank you so much for watching and for traveling with us we we'll see you in the next one see ya